Hey guys, what's cracking? It's Crack Nation. We're coming at you guys today with a video that I'm not exactly sure what it is, but some kind of video just came out called a message from Game Sh Game Freaks Shigeru Omori Pokemon Sword and Shield GameCom 2019. So I'm guessing this, what I've heard is this is some kind of like, I guess like gameplay footage. Um, so I'm very curious to see what exactly this is. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping there's something new. I'm not sure if there will be. I feel like it was, this would have been a bigger deal if there was something new announced or any kind of new Pokemon or new thing, item, whatever. So I'm guessing there's nothing brand new in here. But there's this is still going to be cool to watch some gameplay. So I haven't watched this yet, obviously. So this is going to be my – you guys going to see my – wow. You guys are going to see my reaction firsthand. So we're going to just start the video. I think I got the volume right this time. So hopefully it goes better. Okay, just him talking. He's like the, the director dude. Okay, so we're going to see some scenes from a town in the Gala region. Wow, first up, let's just pause this for a sec. Can you, this world looks so good. Like, Generation 6 to Generation 7, both being on 3DS, was not a very large jump as far as the quality of the world. And I guess that's to be expected because Gen 4 to Gen 5 also is very similar. Gen 6 to Gen 7 was very similar. Just because it's dictated by the consoles they were released on. But this, now moving to the Switch, looks absolutely incredible. Can we, like, look at the detail here? Like, look at this. And I like how, like, this is a very different direction. I guess we have a Pokemon Center right here, right? See that? I guess what's kind of cool also is like Pokemon has always had these just kind of standard bird's eye view RPG. Like buildings were like not to scale. So when you walked in a building, it could be huge on the inside, but still very small in the overworld. But these look like they're pretty much the size they're actually going to be. So these towns for once kind of look like actual towns. Because this, this just looks so cool. We got the little sheep dude. I forget his name, but the, the little new sheep dude right there. I'm guessing... What is this? Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, so this is like the the Professor Whatever's lab. Professor Tree Lab of this generation. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like one of the... Probably not the start town you started, but like one of the really early first couple towns. That looks really cool. This looks so cool. I'm like, look at this detail, man. Like, the, like we have like... We have actual leaves. Look at this. We have like leaves on... 3D leaves on a 3D sprite in a 3D Pokemon world. In an interactive overworld of a Pokemon game. That is so freaking cool. Professor Magnolia, right, right, right. Professor Magnolia. There's a railway station. I'm saying, if you guys didn't watch my video about the uh, conspiracy with po trains and Pokemon Generation 6 and X and Y compared to these games, you should definitely check that out because there is something afoot. There is something very fishy going on here with all these trains, I feel like. All reintroduced the flying attack service. That's the one with Corviknight. So yeah, look at this. So you walk in, okay, so it does load separately and the inside, so yeah, like the size of the building still doesn't fully reflect what's inside. But what's cool is like, you can see like, if you look like, we see like the books, orange books on the bookshelf and the desk here and everything. And like this exact same thing when you walk in the building, it does load separately, which is fine. That makes sense because like to render all that takes a lot. So they don't want to render a lot of power to sort of render that all the time would just make your game really slow. So they can render it. So like it loads up when you walk in, uh, is basically what I'm saying. But yeah, so look, this, you see all the little details, like those orange books, that little, the little pamphlets they look like, and the desk, the dude standing there. So it's cool that you can see this, the inside. The inside does look bigger, but this looks like a really, really sta average like train station, which is really neat. That's so cool. I like these Pokemon. I like these Pokemon centers a lot. So let's look at this. I really, really like these Pokemon Center looks. It looks like elegant, like a nice, pretty building. I really like these Pokemon centers. They look very nice. We have a little market over here. 
I like that. I like when they add little details like this that make towns actually feel like towns and not just a bunch of people living. Like, like this is a little shop here where you can buy, like, food, which is nice because half the time it feels like where are all the people in the Pokemon universe getting their food? So I kind of like that. That's just, like, a nice touch that makes the world, like, texturizes the world, makes it look like... So boutiques are back. Oh my god, the connections to X and Y do not stop. This keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There's boutiques like there were in Generation 6. Okay, this is cool. We got some we got some racial diversity in Pokemon. Always love to see it. It's Wulu, right? That's the name of the Pokemon. Wulu. Wow, just look at that scene. That is so cool. Like, I wonder how, like, that is so neat. And, like, you can tell, like, this, that, that is loaded. This is, like, a actual rendered, at least, I'm not sure about these mountains way over here, but, like, this over here is rendered, because you can tell by the way the video kind of, like, it changes perspective. Like, this is all loaded. That's so cool. That's so good looking. November 15th. All right. So we have get we drops on November 15th. Good to know. I'm not sure if we knew that already, to be honest. But all right. So we got some really cool stuff. I just liked that one scene right here. Like, look at that. Like, look, look at like how amazing like the landscape looks. Like, this just looks like they've gone so hard to make this like a beautiful natural landscape. Like, under pre like pre industrial. England was. I like this a lot. This looks like it's gonna be really, really like it's just an aesthetically pleasing game, which is really cool. They're really taking advantage of how powerful the Switch as a platform can be. Um, nothing new. I mean, we saw like the Pokemon Center and stuff, right? And like some like buildings, but nothing crazy new. We uh we saw the Pokemon Center right here. Yeah, there's the Pokemon Center. So that's pretty cool. We know what those look like now. Looks like about. Nothing like it doesn't look radically different, but it's a nice, very aesthetically pleasing design. We can see like multiple paths going to various places, more buildings to explore. I think what's really cool about this is like they just look like they're putting so much effort into making the Pokemon world one you want to actually explore, and that's awesome. That's really cool. Like, I love when they do these little details that make like make it interesting to actually go around and talk to people in towns and explore buildings and make the town like just feel like an actual live place. That's really cool. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep doing videos like this when videos get announced. I look this stuff up every day just to make sure I'm staying on top of it. So uh, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with your Pokemon info as well as my reactions and my knowledge and my information regarding this Pokemon Sword and Shield info. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Cracking Nation out.